Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the very highly requested jewelry favorites video. So as you guys may know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I love styling and layering different jewelry pieces together. My favorite are necklaces. I really love chokers, anything gold, but I also have some rings, bracelet, earring combinations that I love. I wanted to share with you guys all of my essential, like everyday pieces that I wear all the time. We're like the shop for jewelry. Um, I have some discount codes, one discount code for you guys. That's really good. And just kind of like my favorite pieces. I have some really high end, nice gold or diamond pieces. And I also have some like more costume jewelry that is fun and a, lo a lot less expensive. So I have a good mix of things that I love wearing on a day to day basis. And I always get so many questions from you guys on the vlog channel and on this channel. So I've really been wanting to get this video up. So I'm just like sitting on the floor in my living room and I have everything kind of laid out here so I can go through. I think I'm going to go through store by store and tell you guys or like designer by designer and tell you guys where everything is from and i'm also going to show you guys kind of how i put pieces together and how i like to wear them my favorite combinations because those are the ones i get asked question uh, i get questions on all the time so anyways i hope this video turns out good i have been so sick recently if you guys follow me on follow me on instagram stories i can't even talk i've just been like Pregnancy has really been hard on me the first trimester. I'm officially in week 12 now, so I think I'm gonna have the first trimester recap video up for you guys soon. I think I have like one week left, right? So that'll be up soon, but it has been rough. Today I'm feeling really good, a lot better than I usually do. I'm not so nauseous today, but I am kind of out of breath as usual. So we'll see how long this is and how long it takes me to get through it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First thing I want to get out of the way, my wedding rings, I get asked a lot of questions about them. They are by the designer Sam and Sue. They're a family company. They're based in Hawaii and she designed my engagement ring for me back, you know, a few years ago and I got engaged and I really, it was really unique at the time. I feel like this is something a lot more people have nowadays, but the rose gold with the morganite, it was really different and new at the time. So I'll insert a close up and then I, ha I designed these bands that kind of wrapped around. So that's from Sam and Sue. And then recently she came out with some new designs for little bands that you can kind of play around with and wear with your ring or on the other hand, whatever you want. So I got these little bands too. So the top and bottom are diamond and then the middle is mo <laughs> mosinite, mo moissanite. I don't know, but it's like, it looks like a diamond, but it's not a diamond. So I love those. They've held up really well. I got engaged in 2014, so they've held up really, really well. Okay, moving on to my everyday pieces. The first necklace I want to talk about is this little dainty gold ball chain. I wear this one all the time. It was actually a gift from my friend Sam, and it's a beautiful gift. I love it. I wear it all the time, but she had it made for me by a jeweler. It's just a nice gold like it's a little bit longer than a choker, but it's kind of like choker style and I really love it. It's comfortable. It's great for everyday wear. So thank you, Sam, if she's watching this. But yeah, you could probably just kind of show a picture of this to your local jeweler and you could have something made that's very similar if you want something like this. Or I've actually found a really good dupe and I've been wearing this now for about the same amount of time, like six months. I'll kind of switch it in and out depending which one I want to wear or what look I'm going for. So this one's very similar. This was by Miranda Fry. You guys know I love her jewelry. Um, so they are not real gold. Like this one is not real gold. This one is. Um, but her pieces are so nice that they look and feel like real gold. They last. They don't tarnish. They stay looking shiny and nice and new. So that's why I really love her pieces. They're definitely more affordable than, you know, like a real metal, but they're, they're just as nice. So so this piece, I think it's called the London necklace. And this one I really love because it's super sparkly. Like if you guys can tell, this one is really, really sparkly. It's so pretty. Um, it kind of has like a hammered look to the balls almost. And I think that's what makes it look so sparkly. And then the thing I love about this one too is it has little, what do you call that? Like an extender. So you can wear it as a choker a little bit longer or a little bit longer. So I can wear it this length or I can wear it as a choker. I'll put it on so you guys can see how similar they are. So hopefully you guys can see the difference there. They're very, very similar. Here's the Miranda Fry one. It's just a little bit bigger 
and a little bit shinier, but this one is a little bit more dainty. So you guys can see the difference there, um, but they're super similar, they're super pretty. They hit at basically the same length. This one might be a tiny bit shorter, but again, that one has the extender. So if you wanna wear it longer, you can. I love both of them. And then Miranda Fry, it's kind of like a whole collection of this ball chain. So she has the bracelet, which is really pretty and dainty as well. And then they have the ring too, which I wear all the time. But you guys, I had to like search all over my house, through every purse, through my car, through everything to find like all of my everyday jewelry because I don't know what it is, but I put these pieces on in the morning and then by like 8.30, I take them off. It doesn't matter where I am. If I'm upstairs, I take them off upstairs. If I'm in the car, I take them off in the car. I don't know why, but they're just like sprawled about throughout my house. So she has a ring that goes with this collection too. It's super pretty um, and it looks just like this, but I think it's called the London Collection. So it's the bracelet, the ring, or the necklace. You can buy them separately, you know. But yeah, really pretty little ball chain from Miranda Fry. Sticking with chokers, I want to talk about a couple of Jennifer Zuner pieces that I love. So Jennifer Zuner, I have been a fan of her jewelry for years and years, ever since Michelle Money wore the nameplate necklace on The Bachelorette. Bachelor. I fell in love with her designs and now that I actually like know her and text with her about her jewelry, like it's just so weird. It's so cool and I really love her pieces. I'm so grateful that she sends me a couple to wear and to share with you guys. So one of my favorite pieces actually is this snake chain. It's a really beautiful choker. It's so cool. So you guys can see it's like this thick chain, but it's like smooth and shiny and soft and it's flat. So it lays flat against your neck. It's just the coolest choker ever. Has the extender on there so you can wear it for whichever length you like, length you like. And then she sent me this choker too. This one I absolutely love. So it's just this dainty, it gets tangled all the time. It's just this dainty little choker and it has these little charms that are like little, they're little diamonds and they hang down. It's super beautiful. So I love, pairing these two together. So I'm gonna put them on real quick and you guys can see what it looks like together. So here are the two necklaces layered together. We have the thicker snake chain that lays flat against the neck on top. And then I like wearing the dainty one with kind of like the little, what would you call that? Like little dangly pieces below. I just think it looks so pretty. I love the two paired together, but I also have worn them separate so many times. I just think it's really cool and it's different and I love, I love that it's like got little diamonds dripping from your neck. I just think it's so pretty. So even like with your hair up, I think that looks really pretty with the chokers or with like hair over one shoulder, kind of showing them off a little bit. I love the way that looks. So another piece I really love from Jennifer is this ring that she made for me and Selena Gomez has it and wore it, I think in Vogue a couple months ago and looked so good on her. So she made one for me and one for Mallory and it's so cool, you guys. So. Basically, it's just this chunky ring. It says Alex, so you can get it with your name on it and you wear it kind of like on this finger. How cool is that? And it's flat. So it's just really cool. It's really unique and I just love wearing this ring. I probably wouldn't wear it with these. I'd wear it just kind of on its own like this and sometimes I wear it on my ring finger too just because it's a little bit more comfortable on that finger. But I just think it's so cool. What would you guys wear it? Like that so that you read your name or would you wear it like the other way so that other people read your name? I don't know. I just think it's such a cool ring. I love that it's flat. Can you guys tell that it's flat? It's just so cool. And then my other pieces from Jennifer Zuner I showed recently in a vlog. She sent me two pairs of earrings, two hoops that are super cool. One pair I can't find right now. It's somewhere in my room, but they're two hoops. One's like a really big, I think I was wearing it in the vlog where we told our parents that we're pregnant. So if you guys saw that vlog, then you saw they're like really big, thin gold hoops. And then she also sent these also really big, but smaller than those gold hoops and they're they're so cool and I always thought like I wouldn't be able to pull off like these big gold hoops but these ones I don't know so there's something about the shape and I just think they look really cool with your hair down I couldn't wear these hoops with my hair up I don't know why you guys I'm weird about earrings I love earrings but I'm very particular about them speaking of earrings I forgot to grab my Dior tribal ones I'll have to go grab those because those are some of my favorites too but I have to be like it depends what style I'm going for that day. Like if I'm going for kind of like my normal everyday style, I would want to wear these hoops. But if I wanted to go for something a little bit more dressed up, I'd wear those Dior Tribals. 
So here you guys can see, I probably wouldn't wear it with this many necklaces, but, and like see when it just kind of peeks out from underneath, I think that's really pretty. Gold hoops. So here you guys can see without any necklaces, I really would let these be kind of like the star of the show because they're so big. I would still wear like rings and a bracelet, but I probably wouldn't wear a necklace unless it was something like super dainty, did not compete with them, but I just think so pretty. So then, okay, these other earrings, you guys. I bought these earrings back in the winter time. I showed them in a video. And I know a lot of you guys got them too, and they're so pretty. They're these little dainty, dainty gold hoops. And I wanted this size hoop. Like, it's almost the size of like a ring. Like, it fits me around my finger here, and I wanted something really thin. It took me forever to find something like this, and I finally found these on Etsy. So I'll link to them as well as everything else below in the description box. I think they were $65. I think they're like 14 karat gold. They're pretty nice. Um, I can only find one of them. I wore these every day for the longest time. And then like one day I went and got a facial and I took them out to, for the facial. And then, and then that was it. Like I, I never ended up finding them again. I know I brought them back home with me, but it, like it is lost in the bottom of some purse. I don't know, but I'm gonna rebuy them. And I'm gonna be re behind them right after I watch this or film this video because I love them so much. And they're just the perfect dainty gold little everyday hoop. They go with every outfit. Let me at least put this one on for you guys so you can see. I wish I had the other one. But you guys, I hope I'm not the only one that like doesn't keep track of all my jewelry. So filming this video, I knew it was gonna be like an ordeal to find everything. Okay, let me put this one on. Okay, so there's the earrings. This one is super tiny, super dainty. Like a little bit bigger than like a hoop that kind of like hugs your earlobe. It's a little bit bigger than that. Also like just a super gorgeous, like buttery yellowy shade of gold. So I love, love those earrings that I found on Etsy. And it took me like weeks to find the perfect ones on Etsy. Then of course, like three months later, I lose one of them. I can find it, but it would take a while. <laughs> Moving back into necklaces. So these are a couple of new pieces that I've been dying to share with you guys. I've known about them for a couple of weeks. I showed them on Insta stories and I was waiting to film this video until they came in. So basically Miranda Fry decided to name a necklace after me for their new fall collection. Like how cool is that? So I really wanted to share it with you guys. I got to pick out which necklace and I think it's beautiful and I love it and that's why I chose this one. So basically, it's this really pretty dainty gold chain and <laughs> everything I wear is like a dainty gold chain, I just realized. But this one's super long. Um, it comes in a couple different lengths so you can layer them, you can get charms to go on the bottom or you can wear them separately. You could get like the really long one and layer it up so like one's a choker and one's longer. I just think there's so much you can do with these pieces and I love dainty gold chains. So I decided to go with a dainty gold chain. So this one is super pretty. This is the longest one. So you guys can see, I tried to wear this V-neck so you guys could see the necklaces better. So this one goes all the way down to about two inches before my belly button. Here, let's see. So here you guys can see the chain. The little charm is like a little um, dove with saints around it. It's super beautiful. And then we have the little bit shorter chain. You can still put it right around your head. So you guys can see this one is a little bit shorter, still super pretty. So you could put this like in your shirt if you wanted to have something kind of hidden or out. Both super pretty, but I have two charms on this one, the dove and the nativity scene. Aren't these so beautiful? So you can wear them layered, you could wear them apart. I just think they're so cool and different and unique, but still like, you know, not super trendy. Like you could have these for years and wear them in their classic pieces that I think are just really beautiful. And then we have another shorter one here. This one's even a little bit shorter. And this one I just have like the little hammered disc on. So this one's super pretty as well. So the chains are very, very lightweight. Like they weigh nothing at all. So they're really comfortable, really easy to wear. And then like I was saying in the Insta story, the charms are a little bit heavier. They have a little bit more of like a weight to them. So they're really nice, super nice charms. So you can pick out any charms that you want. You can layer different charms together, layer different necklaces. I just think this is so pretty. Now I'm getting it tangled. Okay. So. This length is my favorite, kind of like the middle length with the two charms. I just think it's so pretty. And then I would even wear like the London ball chain. 
with this. And I think that would be super pretty girly and dainty, but just enough, you know? So there's just a couple other Miranda Fry pieces I want to share with you guys, but before I do that, I want to share one of the other places that I can find really good affordable necklaces, especially chokers, and I also find some good earrings from there, so Bobble Bar. I've talked about them so many times. So I normally don't get too many like metal type pieces from there, but more like fabric style. So this choker... I got last fall, actually. I just love it. I think it's a great everyday kind of choker. So it's kind of just like a leather cord. So sometimes I'll wear it like that and kind of have that hanging down. Or you can tie this little piece in a bow. Or if I just want something super simple, I'll kind of just wrap it all around like that and tie that in the back. And it's just a nice, easy, black, everyday choker. Um, and then I have this one that I used to wear a lot back in the winter. And it's similar, it's like that little suede cording, but this one is kind of like, you know, like a light brown khaki color, like a double layer choker. And then it has this long tassel that comes down. So I think that one's really pretty too. If you wanna do something lighter, not black, not a metal, I think that one's really pretty. And then if you want some sparkle, I have two kind of more sparkly chokers. They just have little crystals. This one I wear all the time. It's like a more of a flat rectangular chain choker. And then this one is super sparkly, like bright, bright crystals. Really pretty if you wanna do something like a little bit more dressy. And then for earrings, these were really fun to wear throughout the spring and the summer. They're these little like pom-pom ball earrings. So I have the white ones. Super cute. Aren't these cool? Like they kind of like make an outfit. I wouldn't wear too much other jewelry with it. Or I kind of like make this just the star of the show. So these ones, and then I also really love the blue ones too. Aren't they cute? Just like unique little different earrings. And then also I don't wear this too much anymore, but I did used to wear it a lot in videos and I got a lot of questions about it when I wore it. So this is from Bobble Bar. If you like monograms, this one's really beautiful. It's kind of like a creamy marble. It's really unique, it's cool. I have coasters actually in this too that I love. Another necklace that I wear all the time is this little diamond from Tiffany's. It was actually a gift from my parents for my birthday a couple years ago. It's called like Diamonds by the Yard. It's a very like popular necklace from Tiffany's. You can get it in gold or silver and different size diamonds. It's just kind of like a nice dainty little piece. So up here, the silver one is my little Tiffany necklace. This one's definitely more of an investment. So it's something, you know, to put on your Christmas list or to save up for, but it's a really beautiful everyday piece. And then this one is a new piece from Miranda Fry. And I love this one because it's gold um, and it's got that big crystal in the middle. So they look so similar on you know, this one's a little bit bigger, obviously, but I think they look so similar on. It's kind of like that same style, but definitely a lot more affordable, super beautiful, a great kind of like everyday piece. And I think this is just, it's pretty when you walk and you see that like little flash of something sparkly, you're like, what is that? But you can't really see. So I just think it looks cute with like a little V-neck, a little sweater over it, easy kind of everyday piece to go with your rings and your bracelets and everything. I like kind of like layering different things together. I love mixing metals too. So my rings are rose gold, um, but I don't like to wear anything else rose gold. I like to have gold or silver, but mainly gold, everything else. <laughs> My foot's falling asleep from sitting on the floor. We are almost done here. Okay, I just put on a couple other Miranda Fry pieces. Wait, did I take the other one? Oh, you guys, it is so so hard to put on all these dainty necklaces without a mirror and without any help and when your nails are really overgrown and really really long i um have been getting that dip powder i got it done i showed it in a vlog it's lasted so well and that's great but my nails are so long that I can't do anything with them anymore. Okay, I've scooted up really close to the camera so you guys can see. These are three other Miranda Fry necklaces that I love. As you guys can tell, a lot of her pieces are similar. They just are like little gold chains and a lot of them just have kind of like different details to them that make them unique, but it also makes them really great for layering together. So I can't exactly see what I'm showing you guys, but this one, it's kind of like, isn't that cool? It's kind of like a little 
triangle, rectangular kind of like shaped necklace. And then this one's just like a very traditional classic chain. And then this one is really beautiful too. So you can wear all of them at choker length or longer. So you can wear them. This is the shortest they go and this is the longest. So you guys can wear them at any length that you want them to be at, which I think is really cool. Or you can layer them all together like this, which is really pretty. Okay guys, I promise I'm almost done. There's just one more that I really love and this is a really pretty circular chain It's similar to the bracelet that I have on the Chloe bracelet, but it's like the necklace version and this one is a lariat So I know lariats were really popular last year I think they're just as big this year and this one's just a really really pretty one so you can wear it like this Kind of or you can tuck it in I think that is super pretty too. I am doing a giveaway of the Alex chain on Instagram. So if you want to win the Alex chain, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'm going to pick three of you guys to win it so you guys can wear it because it's so beautiful. You will love it. So definitely check out my Instagram. It's just my name, Alexandria Garza. We'll do the giveaway on there. It'll probably go up around the same time this video goes up and it's going to go live for a one week. So check that out and all the rules will be in that post as well. But if you just wanna buy anything from Miranda Fry, you can use the discount code Alex at checkout. It'll get you 10% off and free US shipping. So it's a great little discount code to get some money off and free shipping. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. My next video is gonna be a haul. I am just waiting for FedEx to drop off my package. I did some online shopping, so we're gonna do a haul video next, a fall like transitional haul. So give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, if you're excited for that video, if you like this one, please subscribe if you're new. I'm make new videos every week all the time and a bunch of different topics and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.